Hello, I'd like to give you some information about the Trinity Science degrees in Geography and Geoscience. I'm Dr Robin Edwards, Associate Professor in Earth Sciences and Course Director of the TR062 Geography and Geoscience programme. TR062 is one of four pathways by which you can study science at Trinity. It's a four-year programme that leads to a science degree in either Geography or Geoscience. In this presentation, I'll answer four commonly asked questions about our degree program. First, what is geography and geoscience? Second, what subjects will you study if you enroll on our program? Third, given that this is not a general entry science degree, how much choice will you actually have about the material you wish to study? And lastly, why may you want to consider studying geography and geoscience at Trinity? Geography and geoscience is the study of our planet and the people that live on it. One of its defining characters is that the great outdoors is our laboratory. This means that field work is an important part of what we do and many of us were attracted to the subject because we get to spend time in the field. This is Jack. He is a geoscientist and as you can see, he's happy because he's in the field. Now, some time back, Jack took a photo out of his window whilst on his way to one of his field sites. The picture he took turned out to be one of the iconic images of the 20th century. And this is because Jack, in addition to being a geologist, also happened to be an astronaut. His field site was Taurus Littrow on the moon, and the window he took the photo out of was that of the Apollo 17 spacecraft. And this is the picture. The whole of planet Earth photographed by a human being looking back on their home from space. The impact of this photo extended far beyond the field of geoscience, encapsulating a growing sense of the uniqueness and fragility of our planet. As one of Jack's crewmates succinctly put it, we went to explore the Moon and in fact discovered the Earth. Today, we've become accustomed to this view of our planet Jack's photograph and a series of subsequent images collected by unmanned vehicles have become known as the Blue Marble. Many of us carry smartphones around in our pockets, capable of viewing Earth in its entirety before zooming in on locations of interest with the tap of a finger. So it's perhaps hard for our 21st century eyes to appreciate the impact of first seeing our home in this way. But more than two decades before the iconic Earthrise photo was taken, the astronomer Fred Hoyle predicted that once a photograph of the Earth taken from the outside is available, a new idea as powerful as any in history will be let loose. That idea, the fact that we can view the Earth as a single entity, underpins what has become known as Earth system science. It's an idea that has grown from a literal about face in our perspective, exemplified by the idea of turning the gaze of orbiting satellites away from deep space and back onto our planet. Today, numerous orbiting platforms constantly monitor the dynamic Earth, from its swirling atmosphere and churning oceans to its rocky continents and the organisms that live on them. And the more data we gather, the more it becomes clear that our world is changing. The composition of the atmosphere is altering, the oceans are warming, sea levels are rising, and environments are shifting. And many of these changes carry the unmistakable fingerprints of one organism in particular, us. Humans are an incredibly successful species. In the evolutionary blink of an eye, we have spread from our African homeland to populate all corners of the globe, shaping the planet as we went. Our technological prowess means that we can live comfortably in the scorching heat of the Arabian Peninsula or the freezing cold of the Antarctic Peninsula. And our cities twinkle in the darkness, turning night into day. Our global expansion has been fueled by our ability to harness the fossilized energy of the sun stored in the earth for hundreds of billions of years. Energy underpins 
everything that we do, and we are an increasingly energy-hungry species. Today, we use more than three times as much energy as we did only 50 years ago. In the 18th and 19th centuries, geographers and geoscientists played pivotal roles in finding and extracting the Earth resources that fueled our exponential growth, ensuring the energy supply needed to grow our food, heat our homes, transport our goods, and run our businesses. In the 20th century, geographers and geoscientists provided the evidence for climate and environmental change and its differential impacts on human societies around the globe. In the 21st century, the next generation of geographers and geoscientists will be required to meet the grand challenges of transitioning to a low-carbon future whilst enabling a growing population to live in a fair and sustainable way. These challenges are profound, and their scale is unprecedented. As a simple illustration, if we were to hop in a time machine and travel back a few thousand years to the dawn of agriculture, the entire population of the globe was similar to the number of people currently living on the island of Ireland. Today, we inch closer to a global population of 8 billion people, an increasing proportion of whom live clustered in large cities. For example, more than seven times the population of Ireland live today in the greater Tokyo metropolitan area alone. Addressing these kinds of grand challenges is what geographers and geoscientists are trained to do. TR062 Geography and Geoscience is a multidisciplinary program designed by leading research scientists in response to these grand challenges facing the Earth system and humanity in the 21st century. It integrates knowledge from the physical, chemical, biological and social sciences to develop novel insights into Earth system function and human environment interactions. We study the geosphere, the rock that makes up our planet and the sediment and soil that coats much of its surface. We'll explore the fact that the Earth is the source of all raw materials that make our modern way of life possible. We look at the challenges of effectively locating and extracting them in a sustainable manner. We study the atmosphere, that envelope of gases that surrounds the Earth and is critical to sustaining life on its surface. We'll consider the scientific basis for climate change to address questions such as the impact of fossil fuel burning on atmospheric CO2 levels, or the changing frequency, intensity and impact of extreme weather events. We study the hydrosphere, the oceans, lakes, streams, snow, ice and underground water that are another essential part of Earth's life support system. We research issues such as sea level rise, flood management and freshwater quality. We study the biosphere, life on Earth which, to our knowledge, is unique among all the planets orbiting our Sun. The TRO62 programme covers subjects such as the origins and evolution of life, global environmental change, and the complex interactions between organisms and their environments. We also study the anthroposphere, which is basically us. Our activities, the relationship with and the impact on the planet that we call home. Humans have extensively modified the other Earth systems to the point that some are now suggesting we have moved into a new geological period which has been dubbed the Anthropocene. The TR062 program has been developed in recognition that an accurate understanding of the Earth as a system cannot be achieved without considering both science and society. In summary then, TR062 is a science degree that takes knowledge from chemistry, physics, biology, geology and geography and applies it to the study of our planet and the grand challenges we face in the 21st century. In addition to understanding the science behind subjects such as climate and environmental change, modules in geography provide complementary skills and perspectives on issues such as the economy, 
social inequality, health and well-being. Science degrees at Trinity are structured to ensure that students get a broad foundation of knowledge and skills in the first two years of study. We've designed a core curriculum of geography and geoscience modules covering key topics that will introduce you to the diversity of these subjects whilst training you for more advanced study in your final years. As part of this core training, all science students take foundation modules in maths, stats and computation to furnish them with the quantitative skills needed for scientific research. We also introduce you to the history and philosophy of science, allowing you to situate your chosen area of interest within the wider domain of scientific endeavour. For example, in your first year, you will take three core modules which constitute 50% of the material that you will study. In Spaceship Earth, you will learn more about Earth system science, including the characters of the principal Earth systems and the relationships among them. This module will introduce you to many of the topics that you will study in more detail during your time at Trinity. In Planet Earth, you will learn about the long history of our planet from its initial formation, the changes it has experienced over the subsequent 4.5 billion years, and its ongoing dynamism evidenced through phenomena such as earthquakes and volcanoes. You'll also head out into the field to get your first taste of geoscience in action. And in the Anthropocene, you'll learn about how human activity is shaping our planet, from plastic-filled oceans to species extinction. You'll examine its complex social, cultural, political and economic dimensions and explore why a transdisciplinary approach is required to better understand how we might learn to live better on a damaged planet. Further details of these modules and those in subsequent years are presented in the course handbooks which are available on the Trinity Science website. At the end of the second year, students select whether they wish to specialise in geography, combining both the human and physical sides of the subject, or whether they wish to specialise in geoscience, combining physical geography and geology. Whilst the precise focus of the material varies between the two pathways, the general character of the programme remains the same. You'll study a range of more advanced modules that build on the foundational knowledge of skills that you acquire in years one and two, and these cutting edge modules will introduce you to the current state of the art at the frontiers where new knowledge is being created. As such, they may change from year to year. Trinity is a leading research institution and all our academic staff are active researchers. An important aspect of our research-led undergraduate programme is the final year research project in which all students get hands-on experience in the process of creating new knowledge through research. You will have an opportunity to conduct laboratory and fieldwork under the expert guidance of Trinity staff, developing specific technical competencies alongside project management, teamwork and communication skills. Everyone likes choice, but too many options can be confusing. And as everyone knows, sometimes the choices that are best for us are not always the ones that are easiest to make. Trinity has chosen to stream its science entry into four programmes in order to promote the robust, coherent programme design that's necessary for a modern science degree and to assist you in making informed choices. If you enter college via TRO62, you've obviously chosen to study geography and geoscience, but importantly, these aren't the only subjects that you'll be studying during your degree. In years one and two, you choose the content of one third of your course by selecting from an array of optional modules. In years three and four, you have a greater range of options, allowing you to tailor the course to your particular areas of interest, including the topic that you wish to research in your final year project. For example, in years one and two, you can select modules from the other science streams, allowing you to study biology, chemistry or physics alongside your core subjects of geography and geoscience. In addition, you can take extra modules in human geography 
if you wish to complement your science-based options. Similarly, in Year 3, as well as selecting Geography and Geoscience modules of interest, you'll also get to pick a module from the Trinity Elective Programme. These modules are drawn from outside the normal science program and provide an opportunity for students to experience research-aligned teaching from other parts of the college community. You can find details of the Trinity electives on our website or by googling Trinity electives. There are many reasons why you may want to pick geography and geoscience at Trinity, but for me, the most important one is that you find the topics we've just outlined interesting. A good degree from a well-respected institution will always serve you well in the future. Perhaps one of the simplest ways to ensure that you get the best degree possible is to study a subject that you enjoy and find stimulating. This makes it so much easier to put in the hours of individual study that are required to succeed at university. At Trinity, we're fortunate to have comparatively small class sizes, especially in the final years, and this means that we can offer a range of learning environments that include small group teaching, practical training in the laboratory, and hands-on experience in the field. As we outlined at the start of this presentation, fieldwork lies at the core of geography and geoscience, and at Trinity we're committed to teaching in the field. This means that under normal circumstances, you'll have the opportunity to study in the field in each year of your degree. You'll be taught by leading research scientists who bring their passion and knowledge to the classroom, ensuring that you not only have the most up-to-date information, but are also trained to understand how new knowledge is created and what you can do to participate in this ongoing program of discovery. Our goal is to produce the next generation of graduates who are able to think independently, communicate their knowledge clearly, and employ their skills effectively to the benefit of society as a whole. The nature of the materials studied during the time at college means that geography and geoscience graduates are highly valued for their cross-disciplinary expertise, adaptability, and the experience of dealing with complex spatial or multivariate datasets. They're in demand to work on many of society's most important challenges and can pursue lucrative and personally rewarding careers in industry, academia, research and government. Further information on TRO62 Geography and Geoscience is available on our website and you'll find information on the admissions process and entry requirements there as well. Course handbooks are available, which will give you more information about specific years and modules within them. There are also two additional pathways by which you can study geography or geoscience at Trinity. If you're interested in geography, but do not have a science background or are more interested in studying geography in combination with subjects such as economics, politics, sociology, or a modern language, you can apply to do so via the Trinity Joint Honours courses. It's also possible to study geoscience as a dual degree between Trinity and our partner institution, Columbia University in the USA. Further information on the dual BA programme can be found on our website or by contacting our global officer.